Thank you. We now have three short questions from civil society. They will come up here back, and I have them here also. That's why the not in a time show that we end in Novak Zimbabwe. There's no shame in women peacemakers program. Mobuns. Mugati JK Serewe, Kutim Chaita say, Kutim Mapas A, Yen Ashanda would erase the militarization Munikazid. We are Neku Kuruzira Kuzikisqua, Kemas, Marar, Shandisqua, Kunazira, Neku Tengesa Zombo, Pasirin, my tabas. Hello, my name is Dushan Yasowski from REACT, Action on Antibiotic Resistance. I'd like to ask honorable candidates following. Given the increasingly globalized nature of the world, what will be the role of the whole UN system in addressing issues of health security, such as antimicrobial resistance? And how will you ensure a resilience in cross-UN response to such global threats? Thank you. My name is Sharon Bhagwan Rolls. I'm the executive producer director of Femlink Pacific, based in the Fiji Islands. What will you do to strengthen gender equality and women's human rights across all the UN agencies? And how will you demonstrate collaboration with women's rights and feminist groups, especially in the global south? Yes, please, Mr. Let's get some light in the room again. Thank you, Mr. Lightcheck, please. <laughs> Thank you, that's quite a novelty in the process. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad that the civil societies have the chance to participate in this process because, as I said, they are part of our everyday lives and they uh, actively participate in a number of our activities and they help us in many areas by doing things we uh, cannot do or simply because they do it better. And I have a long tra tradition of working closely with the civil society in my country, in Slovakia, and we, we have an open, equal partnership discussing uh, issues related to foreign policy here, so it's really glad that they are, uh, they are also part of this. And the first question about the militarization of societies, I'm a diplomat, so I believe in diplomacy. Diplomacy, which is based on dialogue. Uh, and if it's when we diplomats fail, then the military comes and they step in. But every time there is a military intervention, that means that diplomacy failed. But in the end, it has to be diplomacy again, because we have to find a, a solution that would be sustainable, that would be durable. So for me, the militarization of societies shows that something must be wrong. That means there is no proper development in the society, no proper dialogue. People are feeling excluded. Uh, people don't, don't see perspective for themselves. It's an extremely, extremely dangerous phenomena, of course. Now, being formal, I would say we have to one personally implement our own uh, conventions, non-proliferation non treaties, uh, make sure that the weapons uh, and, and particularly the weapons of mass, mass destruction, but all kinds of weapons do not fall into the hands of non-state actors, terrorist groups, because this is where we lose control and this is what endangers the peaceful lives of our citizens. That's extremely important. But the step beyond that is, again, invest in, into young people, in, invest into their education, invest into their understanding of today's world, in, invest into knowledge, invest into tolerance. That's extremely important. And make women part of this effort. Again, because their role is irreplaceable. So uh, having a positive agenda, and we have a positive agenda right now, and believing that we, we are ready and we have all that's needed to implement on our positive agenda, I really hope that we, we, it will result also into the demilitarization, of course, gradual demilitarization of the world around us, and we will be able to engage uh, 
in positive issues and issues of improving the lives of our citizens. And the Sustainable Development Goals are exactly the plan of action and the program for us for the 15th year, for 15 years from now. We must not fail. Because the MDGs were first attempt, now we say that they were not comprehensive. They, and we implemented half of them. Here, each of the 17 goals is extremely important because the, they are of different priorities for different countries who are facing different needs. So we need to implement them in their entirety. And here, the UN must be the, uh, the guardian of the implementation. We have to have a periodic reviews. We have to, to speak about where we are doing well and where we are not doing so well and why and what we need to do differently and make sure that this is our program of action and through this we will be able to, to address uh, include many problems, including the militarization of societies. And this is certainly also the case uh, uh, to answer the second question, which I suspect came from a Slovak, uh, according to a name, but I don't know him. Uh, <laughs> health is one of the, of, the, of the sustainable development goals. So there is no doubt that it's, uh, it's one of our priorities, and we have to work uh, with, with the World Health Organization, with regional organizations with national governments to address uh, the particular needs uh, wherever they appear. I believe we should learn lessons from uh, the, the recent Ebola uh, virus and crisis or the current Zika crisis and to, to be better prepared and to be able to prevent, to be able to react immediately, to be able to, to to join forces and join capacities so that uh, we manage Ebola crisis relatively well, would I say, but it took us too long to get there. So let us make sure that we have proper analysis of what we did right and what we didn't, and make sure that next time uh, we have a, uh, epidemics or, or major health uh, crises, we are able to act rather than to react immediately. And the issue about the gender equality we have to promote gender equality in all our societies. We come from different countries, with different background, with different history, with different traditions, but we are all equal. And we must stand for the equality. We must fight for the equality. We must not allow any, any form of discrimination, particularly not the one which is based on gender. And we have to do our utmost that everybody feels included and the, 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 the women can play a full role in their societies and they can use uh, their special capacities and their, and their special qualities. And I can refer to the uh, Sustainable Development Goals because it is all there, but I don't want to speak in a bureaucratic language. We, this must not be a technical exercise. It's really a blueprint for changing this planet, to make it this a better place to live. It's our responsibility towards our citizens. And we must wake up every morning thinking about the Sustainable Development Goals and about what have we already done, how, have, how are we doing, how are we implementing. Uh, because it's our responsibility, it's our generation of diplomats, politicians who have agreed on these goals and 15 years uh, will come sooner than we think. So we have no time to waste and we really have this historic responsibility to implement what was achieved, what was agreed. So.